scallops, prawns, and halibut. Sometimes I just want them all. Mix the sweet and plump meat of the shellfish with flaky buttery halibut and you can build one seriously epic fish burger. I love cookbooks with variety. In my cookbook, I'm mixing things up and making a sick fish burger. Look at these scallops. They're gonna give really good sweetness to the fish burger and I'm actually really excited. Prawns, great texture when you're eating it. I wanna take the tail off and I'm just gonna butterfly the prawn in half, just like that, and then same size pieces as the scallop. Now for the base of the burger. Not that kind of base. I'm gonna use halibut. It's so fresh, it's so wonderful, and I want the bulk of the burger to be this beauty. So I'm putting halibut in the food processor. I need something to bind the burger just a few pulses at a time. Okay, this is perfect. There's still lots of texture here, but when I start adding the wet ingredients, it's the perfect base for this burger. It's gonna be so good. Now I need to flavor this. This is where the book is open. For me, I'm using green onion, fresh parsley, and I can't do halibut, prawns, and scallops without a little bit of fragrant dill. Now, just for some light seasonings. This is a way to guarantee your burger is light and fluffy. Egg yolks and whipped egg whites. Hey, hey. The egg yolks can go right in, and then the whites we're gonna fluff, almost like a meringue without any sugar, and add some panko, and then that way your burger is all flavor and fish. You gotta honor the fish. I just need to whip the egg white. You can do this in a food processor. I like the workout. And you just wanna whisk it till it's nice, fluffy. I call it stiff peaks. You just wanna fold that in really nice and light. and to let it all come together, just a little bit of panko. Because I'm putting a little bit of breadcrumbs in, I need to season it, and I need to give it some heat with a little chili. Seeds and all, because I like it spicy. Perfect. Okay, here's the trick. You just want to flatten it out, kind of put some pressure on it, and all of that liquid is going to soak into the breadcrumbs and make it a cakey texture so you can form it and get it crispy. I go to the deli all the time and I get olives and nuts and stuff and they come in these wonderful deli containers. And they also make great fish cake molds. And bingo, you've got a beautiful fish cake mold. I like to just put a little bit of panko out onto the board so it doesn't stick and it has a nice crust on the outside. And I like these nice and thick because they have great texture to them. Come on, how easy is that? I'm like the Martha Stewart of fish cakes right now. Just repeat. Ta-da, fish burger. For this recipe, I'm a half butter, half oil kind of guy. I don't want to overcrowd the pan, so I'm only going to put two in there. And it smells so delicious. Good quality fish, herbs, lemon, chilies, butter. And the butter's starting to brown, which is a good sign that I can flip it. My favorite part. Seriously, look at how sexy that is. 
But I just want a nice crust, and I'm gonna finish in the oven. I'm just gonna put my buns with my burgers. I like to put a little bit of oil on it. It's gonna guarantee a nice crust into the oven, medium to high temperature, and you're laughing. How simple is a fish burger? Perfect. I love mixing it up with these recipes in the cookbook. I'm gonna start with lots of tartar sauce because I love it and it's delicious. I like to put the cake on the bottom and then just a little bit more on the top. A few tomatoes. Yes. My grandpa always taught me this. A little bit of salt and pepper on your tomato. Now some of the shredded lettuce, some thinly sliced red onion, the top. You can't have a burger without a pickle. And some dill pickle chips. <laughs> this looks so good. I love mixing it up like that. As soon as I eat it, it's all seafood, and it tastes so fresh. I can taste the scallop, I can taste the prawns, and the halibut just makes my mouth sing. What a great way to mix it up. That's a burger.